Uh, my name is Ben Balmer. I'm really excited to play with Mr. Jimmy at the uh, Asheville Guitar Bar. Um, I've been looking forward to this gig for a while now, so I'll see you there. Um, I come from a very musical family. My mom's a piano player. My dad uh, plays harmonica. Everybody in my family is a good singer. Um, and yeah, we listen to everything all the time. There's music present constantly. Um, when I was five or six years old, I've seen a video of me uh, at Christmas time around my extended family, and I was singing a Christmas carol, and everybody started to chime in, and I would just immediately be like, no, stop, and uh, <laughs> because I wanted to sing alone, and I think that was the first time I saw you know, video evidence of me wanting to be on stage, for sure. <laughs> when I was 13 years old, I uh, snuck out of my house <laughs> and uh, got in trouble and uh, got caught trying marijuana for the very first time. <laughs> and I got grounded to my room for a month. And uh, I couldn't leave my room except to use the bathroom and have dinner with the family. But there was a Paul Butterfield record, and I had my dad's record player in my room. And I had a C harmonica in my room, and it was the right key. And I listened to Everything is Gonna Be All Right, the 11 and a half minute version uh, of that live record. And I played it over and over and over again, and it took me the whole month to learn that tune. But by the end, I was a, <laughs> I was a competent harmonica player, and uh, that was the very first time I really started to take the instrument very seriously. I just moved to Asheville uh, just a, a, a little while ago, um, and so I'm very new to the town. But I've lived in Austin as a full-time musician for 14 years. Yeah, harmonica was my first instrument, but I am primarily a singer-songwriter. I write um, stuff solidly that fits under the Americana umbrella. I love uh, storytelling songs, but um, my love of music and performing all came from starting with the harmonica and listening to my dad's blues records. Yeah, uh, for my shows, I write, I play almost entirely original music. Um, the covers that I do play are usually written by friends of mine. Yeah, I have a three notebook process for writing songs. Um, I have a small notebook that I usually carry with me at all times where I write down uh, small ideas and you know just certain lines uh, that I like and then after that I'll move it into a larger one where I'll really flesh it out but it's the messiest notebook it's just a bunch of you know crossed out lines and circles and uh, and then I have a large notebook where I'll put down uh, the rough drafts of, of finished songs. Um, every harmonica that I get I have to take apart and I have to uh, adjust the reads to my liking and a lot of times I have custom combs and the centerpiece of the harmonica that you put in and uh, and so it is each harmonica is different and each one I'm excited to play in a different way I mean I have like this low C harmonica which is like basically a baritone harmonica and it just is the sexiest sound to me like this and it just sounds so good and you know you grab this you know, this F harmonica, and it has a totally different feel. <laughs> you know, and I don't know, I just get excited for a different reason for each harmonica, and I know them all differently, so yeah, I totally have a, <laughs> a special relationship with my big crazy harmonicas. Yeah. I do in person and online lessons for harmonica. Um, I teach all different styles uh, and all different. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, from uh, beginning to, to advance. Um, I've recorded uh, three full-length records and a couple of LPs with different folks. Um, I, uh, I came out with my first record in 2012, uh, which is called Dug In, and that was, uh, you know, definitely my first try, and uh, we recorded it at a home studio at a friend of mine's uh, house, and we did it mostly as a, as a trio. Um, and then my second record came out in 2016, and that was called Loose Lips, Sunk Ships, Bruised Tips, and Booze Sips. Uh, that one, I, uh, I, I definitely think that my songwriting clicked in the gear at that point, um, and I think the record was uh, sounded really good. That was also in the home studio as well. Um, and this past one just came out uh, last year in October, and I'm really proud of this record. Uh, it's called Honky Tonk Macbeth. Uh, and it, it was the first time I was able to afford it in a proper studio with the engineer that I really wanted to work with, Justin Douglas of at King Electric in Austin, Texas. Um, and I got to play with uh, Eddie Dickerson on fiddle and Josh Flowers on upright bass and Ann Parks on drums, Cat Clemens on guitar. Um, 
and I think it's definitely the best sounding record, and I think it has interesting songs, and I couldn't be more proud of it. Right now, I actually just recorded uh, 12 new tracks that are all covers, actually, but they're covers of good friends of mine's songs um, that I really love, uh, and I'm going to be releasing those every six weeks for the next year or so. Um, I already I just came out with the first one, um, which is called Girl with the Dirty Hair, uh, which uh, is an Adam Carroll song, a wonderful singer-songwriter out of Texas. Really. I, I love recording in general. I love the process. I work as a studio musician as well, so a lot of different artists hire me out to put the little little cherry on top of harmonica and a couple of tracks on their records, and I've always really enjoyed the process. The blues, and I'll say country as well, to me is the community of music because you know that's those are the kinds of music that you see you know a, a spanish guitar and an italian mandolin and a west african banjo and uh you know harmonies from ireland and uh and african uh african rhythms and music and it's just you know it's where all of those music come together and so i think that there's no better metaphor uh, for the community and harmony that music brings for people all over the world. And I think that's one of the most special things about the blues to me. Oh, <laughs> 